We got lifting forks and dropping forks and tilting forks and we can steer and the transmission change and all sorts of stuff. We even got a little horn we can honk. Supports VR and also gamepad. It's still in early access, so I'm not too sure how much actual gameplay there is. Sure. Mm. Could be cool. Because yeah, a lot of these forklift games, um, not, not that great, not that involved. Overall, just kind of bleh. This one looked like it was pretty alright. Become the best forklift operator you have... Before I become the best forklift operator, you have to know how to read. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. Learn the basics of forklift driving and pallets delivery. Be careful and control your current progress. Be, be careful and control my current progress? At the top left? On the, uh, oh, at the top, on the left side. The top left. Uh, time. And then how many pallets? Number of crashes. Uh-oh. In carrier mode on the right. You can find information about earned money. Carrier? career if you need a break just pause escape a game at any time go straight ahead and if you need if, if you need to stop press s do i need to stop oh yeah oof that doesn't count as a collision that's fine man we turn like we turned damn near on a dime, this. Ooh, ooh. Um. It hasn't taught me about reverse yet, but I'm doing it. The steering is maybe a touch sensitive. But we can get used to that. Oh yeah. Right. R and F for raise. Right. Let me turn the music down a little. We'll get there one day. I think controller would definitely be the better bet for this, though. G to make the forks tilt back and provide better support for the pallet. Oh my god. Alright. Raise this bitch way up so I can see. Ah, yes. Where are we going with this? Just around, or? Whoa. This view doesn't really help much. Or does it? Oh, there's another view. It's a good thing we've got a drone for this forklift. Deliver the pallet to the right place. Um, ah. Right. We're doing it. Without any collisions, supposedly. Well, that's horn. Fucking hell. Uh. T? Gonna take some getting used to that S's stop regardless if I'm going forward or back. Can I tilt over if I turn too quick with the high load? I don't know. Maybe. I'm I'm sure we'll find out. Oh, I did it. Am I certified? Maybe. Warehouse, shipping room, storage hall? We got missions. 
Mission one for 500 bucks, unloading the trailer. A bonus for delivering all pallets and completing the task within eight minutes at a max of five collisions. All right. For starters, a simple task. You have to unload the trailers and put the pallets in the proper places. Aim the forks only at the pallet, not at the side of the truck. Alright. Okay. Dude, I get like double money if I do the side objectives. Let's go! It's over here. Let's go! Where are we going with these? Just around. Well, it looks like there's definitely a bit of physics driving stuff. If I slam on the brakes... At, uh... It shimmied a bit. Oops. Uh, that, that's the button. Oop. Nope. Art. That's the one. Do you want to, like, sideways or something? Forklift load on Steam. I might have missed that. Hello? Oh, are my forks tilted? Yeah, that was the issue. Want me to turn this thing. Jeez. There we go. The nerve of them. The blurb is interesting on forklift load for a forklift game. Features story. Why do AI machines only exist? Why do they still keep the city clean? And what is the purpose of AI machines? That's a gripping intro for a forklift game. I would like to know more. Oops. Dude, there's a lot to unload in eight minutes. You kidding me? Silent God is people. No, it's not. Oh, a deer, a female deer. Ray, when someone asks if you are a god, you say yes. <laughs> Don't think that's how that went. Uh, thank you, thank you on the old core. <laughs> I get it though. Thank you. <laughs> Alright. It was uh, the old core 22 months, I think that is. Nope. Forward a bit more, and then R. I can't tell if I have two pallets or just one. I think it's just one pallet. It just looks a bit strange. Dude, changing the pitch of the forks is like such tryhard material. saying that. We seem to be stuck on something here. I can't pull out. Give it a little... 
a little pull back. Just, just drag it back a little. This is a very tricky situation we're in here. Ah. Needed the drone for that one. Oops. I don't know why I keep thinking E for raising the forks. Probably also want this up high, right? Uh, stupid truck. Now they want this one low. I think that counted as one collision just then. Took 4% damage for reversing into a wall. Maybe we should get better forklifts that don't break down. big one makes me nervous. I think I might have to tilt the forks for that. And... Yeah. I thought as much. That's two. Two collisions. It's difficult to steer while raising forks at the same time. Come on. You jammed the forks in somewhere. Can I climb that way? I, you know, I think... I think so. I was raising myself up quite a bit when my forks were against the, the top of the shelf. Ah, oh, there we go. I wasn't sure if I was going to fit in or not. Well... Not my fault, dude's got a tiny truck. Tilted it back a bit for stability as well. I don't know if I can flip. It looks like I'd be much more liable to uh, just lose the load. Oops. I did it! I was only a little bit off with the time limit. Not too bad. Eight minutes seemed ridiculous at first. But I still got paid extra for only digging it up a little bit. You know what? I'd say that's a success. Cleaning the warehouse. A thousand bucks. Bonus for delivering all pallets and completing the task. Eight minutes. Max five collisions again. I'll do it. I want to customize my forklift. I need like dangly bits and, uh, you know, some things maybe not OSHA approved, but maybe I feel like, maybe I feel like risking it a little bit. I have seen the inside of your locker. Maybe tidying up the warehouse will teach you how to keep it clean. 
Fuck you. Our stuff just scattered all over the place here. Uh, of course you want it the other way around. I should have known. Man, you really whip around with this thing when you get up to speed. Come on. Get in there. <sighs> Remind me to get some more loot for the forks after this mission. Spend some of our hard-earned money. doesn't tilt forward anymore. Okay. Well, yeah, I mean, you can really... You could do some sick tricks with this. Nothing too wild. Safety and all that. Whoa. Well, yeah, you don't see me on the camera view because, uh, well, I'm, I'm up in the air, you know? I get out of the forklift and I, I spot from the sky. Are you not okay with that? Surely that's good enough. That's it. Drone time. That actually doesn't help much. Oh, we're sideways. I see. What about this guy then? See what I mean? With just like a little bit of... You get some Vaseline or something up on there. They're also sideways, I think. God damn it. music is maybe too inspirational. It's very corporate and it's like the same three and a half seconds looped. I was gonna say, if that's not good enough, then dipshit can come over here and clean his own damn warehouse. Don't tell him I said that though. I'll get in trouble.
sure the EDF needs some forklift drivers too. Oh, that'd be great. Like, I'm just trying to do my forklift job and there's like insect Armageddon happening in the background. That sounds excellent, actually. Can I, can I earn money doing that? And then I spend that money like decorating a house? That, that's what I need. Gotta have a house to decorate. That's just not the same otherwise. Unless there's like a surprise truck coming in that needs to be unloaded as well. I think this 8 minute time limit is like, way generous. Maybe for like, a B rating, but if I wanted to go for an A or an S or something like that, I think... I think I'd have to be a little more strict. Needs to be turned, I'm betting. There are more on the truck, maybe? No. Oh, this is this is a wide load here. Huh. Doesn't even need to be sideways. Whoops, that's the horn. Just seeing if you're awake. in the time limit, I think. <laughs> yeah, it's tough. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I think uh, G is what I wanted. Tilt in the forks, I think, was T and G, and then R and F for the fork raising and lowering. Not the most convenient buttons ever, but uh, I could rebind it, technically. You could do, like, Q, Y, R, and uh, Z, or V, rather. Seven minutes, max four collisions, deliver pallets. All right. I used to be an operator like you, but then I was struck by the forklift in the knee. Never mind, take all the loads to the second warehouse. It sounds like the guy driving the forklift, but uh, seems like he'd be fired after that. That doesn't sound good. That's not the right one. <laughs> Everyone you've seen play Prey has punched the screen? Well, thankfully, I have not. I don't mean to cause any alarm here, but we're already at 88% uh, engine. Before any collisions. You know, this crossbar is like, perfectly in the way. I need like a, like a haunch over uh, button to lean forward a little bit. Oh, you mean whacking the, the screen in the game? 
I got you. Yeah, no. Because, yeah, you always want to click on stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's tough. <laughs> yeah. Guilty. Very guilty of that. Pretty much every time. Thankfully, a lot of it gets edited out and makes me look like just a champion at games. But, uh, well, let me tell you, the cutting room floor is littered with failures. Yeah, speaking of failures... I played some Darkest Dungeon 2 a little bit, too. That's, uh... Fairly well done, but for being a roguelite, it's approaching things very oddly, because typically with a roguelite, you... you don't really have much of a chance of getting super duper far in it on your first go because you just you don't have everything like it'd be it'd be a statistical anomaly if you manage to somehow make it far on an early attempt just from sheer luck but with darkest dungeon 2 it's uh i think impossible to get very far on your first like couple dozen tries because you you have to you have to unlock stuff for being so top-heavy. My manual didn't cover what happens when it suddenly decides to jump off the forks. I just... Do we just go for a quick scoop? I think a good roguelite needs a mix of, like, a bit of unlock to make it easier, but I don't think it should be impossible for you to make it, like, at all far. Because with Darkest Dungeon 2, you're not going to get very far on your first go. Like, at all. It, it's not happening. And I think it's maybe a little too punishing in that regard. Because pretty much you have to go to these shrines to unlock abilities for your, your classes. And there's only going to be so many shrines per map. So you're going to be doing a good 15 to 20 runs just going to these shrines to unlock abilities so you can actually get value and worth out of your classes. Whoops. That's, uh, it's, it's too much. Overall... It's quite okay. I just find the grind to be a little too much. Not H. You know what I ought to do is rebind. Rebind the horn. Alright. I don't think we got the time limit in order this time. gonna assume we put this one up wide camera I'm being watched give me assuming right my steering is a little bit wilder when this is raised up so high so there's the more. You know, even with the flip. Still making pretty alright time, really.
just got a notification that I went live. <laughs> Perfect timing. <laughs> I feel like Twitch is having a bit of a day today. Just overall. Jupiter Hell, very good at this balance IMO. No power-ups at all to unlock, but as you start to master the game, you can unlock higher difficulties and challenges. So it's like a roguelite from the player's skill perspective rather than like actual unlocks. Cause I don't I don't mind unlocks. I feel like they're a bit important for a roguelite. It's just um I don't know how to best describe it. It just, I feel like it should be somewhat possible to do anything progression-wise at all. Because Dark Ascension 2, the way it is now, you're not going to make any progression at all whatsoever. Until you do so many dozens of runs. Like, there's also this mastery level-up system going on too, to unlock new classes, but the classes are kind of shit without the abilities. Uh, otherwise, you're unlocking items that get thrown into the pool, but you're not making it far enough to use those items. So it's like, hmm, great. It's not like, you know, this is added in as something you can start with. Because your starting stuff is always terrible. So it just, it feels like kind of a slap in the face all the time. That said, I haven't really played many roguelites where player skill is the uh, the grinding aspect, if you will. So it could be that that works out quite well. I'm glad I'm an owl. This is nice. They should hire more owls for forklift operation. Oh god. Ah, good enough. <laughs> Let the next shift fix this. I gotta charge up the battery anyway. Get this engine fixed up. Has anybody played Medieval Dynasty lately? Or watched any of it or anything regarding it? Recently? Because that's also something on my list of something that I might want to take a look at at some point, but... Last I had seen of it from uh, maybe two years ago by now looked very lacking in actual content. Second warehouse. Can see our locker messes mimicked by the warehouse itself. Organized two halls. Mm. I like how I can just decline it. Nope. Don't wanna. Always keep buying the game, but not buying because reviews say the community such village aspects are completely wooden. You're too cheap to find out for yourself. Yeah, it's a similar boat, I think. But there's no actual meat or anything. Like, at first you see like, oh my god, there's so much stuff. But then when you get down to it, it's like, well, really, really, there's not a whole lot going on. And then there's the tried and true classics like House Flipper that's like, I could always just like default back to that worst case. If I need to get my fix. Because House Flipper, say what you will about it, but it's pretty good.
House Flipper 2 was also announced. I don't think it's got a date or anything, though. Oh. Bumped into another pal. That's two collisions already. Looks like I might not actually need to lift this stuff up in order to see where it belongs. Looks like it just have to be, you know, like, parked inside it. You know, what might work better is if on the wall somewhere is plastered, like, the, the planogram or so. Just on the wall is a thing for you to look at and use as a reference, and you just put it up. Match the picture, basically. Might also work a bit better. Just to eke out a little bit more immersion out of the whole thing, you know? Not that a warehouse really has a, a planogram, per se, but, you know... sure about this one. <laughs> I might have to refork it. Yeah, I have to do it anyway. I feel like the engine's going lower and lower. Like, is there, is this the same forklift across missions? I don't think my two collisions brought it down so much. 76% is pretty low. Making me a bit nervous. My poor forklift. I'm hoping there's like a forklift shop or something I can go to to repair this. Not sure what money is used for currently. done in no time. Only five minutes that took. Upgrade the forks front and back. Oh, side forks. Mm. I mean, I don't mind if this is like my forklift, but then I want to have different forklifts that I can like rent out and borrow for a bit. And then eventually I can save up and buy my own forklift so I don't have to like pay these monthly fees and all that on them. Just buy it straight up, own my forklift, and then I manage my own repairs, my own upgrades. Put a V12 in it. Cash has got to be used for something, right? Max one collision. Oh, that's getting stringent now. To load the trailers, I think you are ready, my young operator. Transport the loads from both storage spaces to the places in the trailers. Big money on this. Jesus Christ, 2,500 bucks for moving pallets around? Fucking hell. Get me in that. Oops. 
Hmm. I see what the problem's gonna be, though. Because it cares about where inside the trailers these are parked. Who put that there? Yeah, this is gonna be a pain, actually. Ugh. That's going at the very front. Yeah, this is gonna suck to do. Because worst case, you're gonna have to like load and unload the trailer multiple times because, oh, there's the thing that deserves to be in the very, very back. Looks like nothing here. Thankfully, there's not a lot. I'd like to have some sort of like an overview of how they expect it, there we go, to be loaded so I can spot the item from here and know like, ah, that's supposed to go in first. It should technically be by weight, but I don't think there's a way to know what the stuff weighs. Oops. God damn it. Sorry. Gonna make my uncle so proud. Gonna do this whole thing without any collisions. So now there's spools, I guess? You don't think he'd enjoy this as a job? What? Unbelievable. You take that back. Ah, how dare you not personally take enjoyment in this? Oh. Ugh. It's very annoying that this goes here. Back in my day, I didn't have these riding forklifts, and we definitely didn't have the ones like they got here in Germany where it's like you're standing on the back of the thing driving it around. That looks like fucking sci-fi. No, back in my day, hand, hand cranked manual power. That's how we did it. Dude, this trailer is loaded like shit. What? Look at all this space. If we're going with the theory that the people who make these games have this as the job and they just want to play the game while they're not working, 
Then, whoever did this clearly just reorganized warehouses and they never actually loaded a truck. There is zero chance that they loaded a truck. If they did, they were responsible for a lot of accidents on the road. Somehow I managed to get a collision, but I'm not sure when that happened. feel too good about that. I guess it's done that so if you do load it stupid, that you don't have to pay much of a price for it. But my immersion, the realism, it's gone. Sapped. Voided. better about reversing and all that now though. <sighs> the bottles have mayo, ranch, ketchup, and spinach. This is back in the late 90s when they had like green ketchup and all that stuff. Always had to have fun colors like that. I've unlocked location shipping room. I did it. Was mission six what I just did? Random arrangement of loads. Five minutes without any collision. All right. The, the capstone of the first level. Apart from your morning coffee, there's nothing better than the correct positioning of the pallets. Therefore, arrange misplaced pallets to their proper places. Can I see what these locations are before I, I park my needles underneath them? I'd, I'd much appreciate that. and this is where the forklift goes. Well, now it's just axed out. <clears throat> is it... Is it dead? Did I, did I kill it? I think it's, I think it's a demogged good now. Hey, I doing King Skank? Welcome. I'm putting it there anyway. Because that's apparently where we're putting that. Even though that's where we parked the fucking forklifts. God. I feel like my manager's not going to have this job for much longer. It's a good thing I got accepted to work at that other warehouse location. I'm putting this here too, huh? Is this, is this why we're moving to a new location after this mission? 
because we're fucking fired after this. This is even being parked in front of a, a door. Like, what? Eh. Ah, uh, wait. What? I can't... I can't actually go lower than this. You want me to, like, scrape it off the pole? Um... Oh, we're tilted forward a bit. That's why. What's it say on the side of the crate? Fragile, do not drop this way up. Well, it's got some words on there, but like, I just put it in the glowy area. I don't get paid extra if I ask questions like that. just putting all this stuff back here, huh? We're really, we're really doing this. This is very unprofessional. This is going to be a $200 fine for Moshe. Haunted forklift. Yeah, I go into drone mode and uh, I vanish. Just hover around. I'm like climbing around on the ceiling, looking down, getting the good angles. Oh, yeah. Dismantling shelves and moving them? Look, I don't... I don't care what their excuse is. You don't park this stuff in front of doors. You don't do this. This is all inside of a designated forklift area. And what isn't in a designated forklift area, it's in front of a damn door. Smash. I feel like that's not my fault. <sighs> it X'd out, so... I'm moving on with life. I gotta just like throttle myself by just tapping W. Too quick. Um, we could stash everything on this shelf, dismantle a shelf. Do whatever it is we're doing with that. Am I in? Boy, I guess so. We can call that in. It's wiggling around an awful lot up there. You want me to turn this one too, don't you? Yeah, you do. The the flipped over one, I I can with a bit of work, but it's X'd out, so it's uh, damaged good now.
we have a reduced pallet goal down to just the four pallets now and everything, so I'm probably going to get a pay deduction for the, but I'm going to be fired because this place is going out of business anyway, apparently, so... Fuck them, I guess. I don't, I don't know. How you doing today? Welcome. No collisions on my part. Four out of six. Yeah, still pl plenty of money though. Like damn near 2000 bucks. And I guess, um, bonus objectives are void because we damaged goods, so it's like, kind of whatever. How exactly do you pronounce go? <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> now, there might be a typo one there. Uh, back. Back? Twenty-four thousand five hundred bucks. Look at this guy. It's jet black. Uh, I can't buy a new forklift. Uh, and we have a Garaga. <gasps> Customize and repair. I can repaint it. Oh my god. Fuck yeah, buy that. You kidding me? Look at it. That's my color. And I can repair it. Ah. Uh, okay. Be something on that one. I can kick it if you want. Uh, yes. That's some expensive paint. It's the good color. What do you think it's gonna cost? Thank you, score. 25 months. Jesus Christ. Phew. I remember when you were like 11 months, 10 months. How you doing? How you been? Worked at a brewery, brewery years ago where they routinely happened to damage a pallet of beers every Friday. People scurrying around like rats chasing the cans. Hmm. Hmm. Just hyped for the weekend, I guess? I don't know. 10 minutes, max 10 collisions? Oh, wow, that's a lot of collisions. Do not be overconfident. These are only two trailers. In my opinion, you should already be working with much more. And remember to place the goods from both trailers in the proper places. The proper places that we're not going to define until it's too late. Oh yeah. Yeah, tighter tighter turns and everything here. We got the European style trailers too. I don't want to scratch the paint. I just got it. It was it was actually fairly expensive. Let me go. It's like I got barbed forks or something. Just latches in there. Haven't had enough time to keep up with Twitch. Been living off VODs? Hey, I mean, however that works for you. Good to see you nonetheless. You watching the VODs on the YouTube channel or just on Twitch? It might be slightly better quality on YouTube nowadays. Because I've got a recording being saved as well. Which is higher quality than what I'm uploading right now to Twitch. 
and it's also 1440p renders, which YouTube handles significantly better compression wise. wonky pellet. It's a left truck. Finished. No problem. Uncle, I'm ready for the big leagues. Get, put me in. I can do this. clearance it's kind of nice being able to just like go in from the side and this doesn't get a shelf we're just throwing this just throwing it here huh Sideways. Now, speaking of the YouTube channel, almost up to a thousand subscribers on that. It's getting there. Then I can get monetization rights on it and I can actually configure where the ad breaks go and probably reduce the ads a bunch. YouTube's a bit wild with that sometimes. Throws in an ad like once every three to four minutes, which works for like television average, but I don't know. I feel like for VODs and streaming and all the, like I go for like once every 10 minutes on average. Just the default just seems so much. It's just actual plastic bins. It should be a really light load, right? <laughs> Two bins tied together. I would really prefer having like a map of the warehouse with like locations of where stuff goes rather than these highlighted boxes. I think I'd really prefer that because then it's a it's not only more immersive but there's also a little more uh, emphasis on like putting it in the correct spot orientated right because right now I'm just kind of following the box and just I don't know. It doesn't feel nearly as good. I'm just kind of following where it wants me to go. It doesn't work as good, I feel. Why are you so... Why are you like this? Why can't you just be normal? Er. The spotter with the dock at the tail, yeah, just pointing and grunting. <sighs> <laughs> I 
I mean, now, now what this needs is trucks that come and go. And I'm starting my own warehouse, and uh, I gotta load stuff up some days. I gotta unload other days. Like, we go in day one, we're just unloading two trailers. You know, I got like X time to do it. And then day two kicks off, and I gotta load up these things onto this new trailer that's arrived. And we got another trailer that's coming in later today to unload. Tomorrow, we've got a trailer that's picking up X and X goods, so I gotta get that stuff ready for, for that. And then it becomes a matter of managing the logistics of where do I put stuff on the shelves, because then if you're going that route, you don't have to tell me where to put stuff. Leave that to the player. And uh, it's on them to, to find the things and get it back up on the trailer. They'll be like, oh, trailer's coming in. The load is three pallets of these tires, two pallets of the green ketchup, and like a pallet of bricks. It's like, oh, okay. It doesn't matter which ones it is, really. If it wanted to be specific, I guess it could care. Like specifically this pallet of tires. But I'm not sure how you would communicate that to the player effectively. Really, we're just, we're like all crooked here. Don't do a pallet. Because to me, that's that's the beauty of these simulator games, is they're oftentimes fray enough to where you do what you want to do the way you want to do it, but that comes at a cost, because, you know, if it's all messy and stuff and you can't find anything, well, that's, that's you who did that. You have to design a better system that works for you. And uh, that's that's where a lot of the gameplay is for me personally in these things. I'm not the biggest fan of just being like, oh, here's this, put it here. It's like, no, nah, I want to I wanna put that where I want to put it. Yeah, Wil Wilmot's Warehouse is one, like, basically that. I just don't like the top-down, like, MS-DOS aspect of the game. I, I don't like that for kind of a shit reason. But that, in a style like this, where it's, like, focus on immersion, I'd be all about that. This doesn't feel as heavy as it claims to be. I don't think it got the time limit. That was like 10 minutes or so. Yeah, 1042. I don't know what the goal was. Real life crates have labels to say who they belong to. Yeah, you'd have to do about the best that I could figure. If you want to be specific about crates, like if you're going to have, if you've got multiple pallets of tires, and this tire specifically is being picked up tomorrow. These other two tires are being picked up next Thursday. Um, you'd have to color code the palette, um, put a logo on the palette or something like that, or something, or I designate it somehow so that I get some sort of a UI element, I guess, if you want to gamify it a bit. I'm trying to think, like, immersive-wise, how could you more easily handle that? Because looking at a label while on a forklift isn't the most convenient thing to do. Um, and then if you don't really have, like, a great screen resolution going on that it could actually just render not so good, 
So then you'd be looking at it and there'd be a UI element that pops up with like a barcode and the label and all that. But then you've got a UI element, which is kind of defeating the purpose of having it in the first place. So it may as well just be like a color coding system or so. It would definitely add a lot of... Um, a lot of complexity to it if you had to be specific about exactly which palette is going where rather than it being just like here's a bunch of tires get one of these tires onto the truck for the for the load because then you're mostly just grouping it by what it is and that's not so bad but in reality it's more complicated than that though you could also just have such a diverse amount of goods that come in rather than it just being you know tires bottles bricks if there's like a good 20 different items, then, you know, kind of doesn't matter if it matters which palette in particular you're going for because there's so much stuff anyway that you still have to organize it in the warehouse and manage the logistics of it all. Two player, they play in VR to read the barcodes to you. Oh God. Can we get walkie talkies and all that too? Fuck, I'd play that too. I'd <laughs> I damn near buy VR for the fuck to be so good. Co-oping with somebody to manage a warehouse. Ah, uh, fuck. I need, I need money so I can fund people to make these stupid games for me. I'll be my own publisher and just like here, have money, make this. This is what I want, and just buy a game that way. I want to be like the Elon Musk of gaming. Just throw money at people to make things happen and shitpost on Twitter. Hmm, I kind of already shitpost on Twitter. Already, I guess, in a way. 10 minutes, 10 collisions, cleaning the warehouse. This seems familiar. When I was an operator myself, my friends, for fun, blocked the cart with pallets. You have a slightly simpler task. You need to organize the pallets blocking access to the trailer. Look, you can't be doing that. Oh, you motherfuckers. Yeah, funny prank. Har har. Jesus. You can't do this. Unbelievable. See, like, we got color coding here for these bins. So you could be like, ah, the yellow bins are going out in two days. The black and red bins are going out next week. So you'd be like, oh, okay, we'll park these out. You know, uh, get them kind of in the back of the warehouse a bit since I don't have to worry about them and I'll dig them out later on during uh, an easier day. Because maybe some days you don't have as much coming in, so you get a little more free time. So you can spend that time then uh, organizing. Think like Cooking Simulator, where you've got the between shift areas where it's like the cleanup phase and preparation phase. Think that, but more like. I think we're sideways. Um, using that time to do what I'm doing now, cleaning up the warehouse. This would be just how I spend the, the ending bit of my shift or the bit of time between loads coming in. Best forklift opera. Ooh. <laughs> that's a different game. That's, that's something I'd watch. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Wait, we're still sideways, I think. Didn't I just try it this way? Yeah, shit. And this thing accelerates really good sometimes.
feel like you're going insane because the same song's been playing the entire stream. It changed a couple levels ago. <laughs> well, you want me to put on some jaunty gumption or something? It's basically the same song. <laughs> Corporate meeting three dot wave. love it. This could be your alarm for your phone. Your forklifts at work also accelerate very quickly, but seems like such a dumb thing because most of the time you really want to drive carefully. I think that's just like it's expecting such a big load and because it's electric, it's just got so much immediate power to it. But yeah, it's really uh, jarring. That was kind of the benefit of having the, the manual forklifts that we had was just you, you can't really go too quick with those about the worst you could do is take the ramp off the trailer with a heavy load uh really quick it's about the best you could do we're we going with this do we know ah. and we're sideways again of course man what a what a fu what a funny prank Oh, got to give me a different co-op partner for those. This this guy is really taking the piss. They have a nice hike, hops. Take it easy. A little too cold here for a for a hike. We had really nice weather, but then it got super duper cold for. Uh, for just this week, I think. I think this weekend we're going back to decent temps. Can have the window open again at night. Oh, so good. For this stream, I'm a professional forker. Well, maybe if I was playing in VR. I'd love to be a forklift operator, actually, though. I'd, I'd, I'd be a big fan of that. But, like, that comes with the caveat that I'd have to actually have control over what I'm doing. Which, in reality, is very often not the case. It's just some asshole tells you to do this and put this here. And gives you time limits that are unbelievably short. And uh, you just got to make do with what what you can. You pretty much get yelled at regardless what you do. Which takes out a lot of the enjoyment out of it. As as with most things, it's uh, it's got potential to be good, but more often than not, ends up not being as as you expect it to be. One and a half minutes left for the bonus on this and two more pallets. The problem is all of these are sideways. I'm tempted to fork into the corner of these to spin them while they're on the ground. 
Very advanced maneuver. Don't tell anybody I do that. But between you and me, I feel like it'd be the better route to do it. But though now I'm glad I didn't do that because this is actually spun around correctly. But see, like, if we got a load coming in later today, I plop them down over here somewhere, keep them out of the way. Leave the shelves to stuff that can stay there for a bit. Keep the floor clear for mobility. Managing my own logistics with truckloads as they come in and out. Beautiful. Cleaned up. Ugh. Having to unload a truck you just loaded because someone gave you the wrong pocket an hour ago. Good clean fun. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, maybe if you enable oopsie whoopsies, then uh, maybe you get stuff like that, yeah. Now, that'd be really cool, though. I want to I wanna play that. I don't think it exists, but I want to play that. I mean, this is kind of on its way. I, I don't know what the end goal of this game is. I feel like this might be generally the extent of it, but... It could definitely be more. Cleaning the trailers and shelves. Right. It's just like, basically the same general task, just a different flavor of it over and over again. Load should be adequately grouped and not randomly distributed. Right, like like always though, it just I just go to the highlighted area. I I couldn't randomly distribute it even if I tried. It won't let me. Oh, Jesus. All right. There we go. Kind of. I think something is a bit wonky with the weight of items. Tilting back doesn't seem to really do a whole, whole lot. If anything, it makes it potentially worse. Screak. Our little secret, okay? Shh. I don't know how those marks got on the floor. That's pretty strange. We should talk to the cleaners. I think they're using too much bleach. like that didn't really save any time though at all. Yeah, well. Him. that one was. Ah. 
crossbar, man. That's it. Drone time. Going on a truck or something? One day I'll be a professional at this. We'll have like speed running competitions and everything. Should note this game does have VR support as well. There's a third box somewhere that needs to be moved, but I don't know where that is. We lead a save raising the forks to the top shelf. I could lift myself a bit. Use the middle shelf to give myself a bit of a boost. We, uh, we're powered via the front wheels, though, so raising those off the ground is no, no good. Oh, that also needs to be moved there. Okay. Well, like, we kind of got the in and out going here. The, the concept is there. This truck's being unloaded. The truck behind me is being loaded with stuff. It's there. to see if there are speedruns of this, see what kind of wild things people do to save time. Yeah, I don't know how that would go. Just... just be good? I don't know. 
I don't think it's been around long enough for speedruns. Yet. God, sorry. Wrong button. If it hasn't had any speed runs, so technically any run you do could be one. Truth. I used to watch a lot of Mario Kart 64 speed runs. Pretty much just play the game, and uh, you can place top 100 worldwide. Whoops. That's a collision. <clears throat> Play Mario Kart 64 decently and you can probably get like at least top 20. What a long day. My brain is frazzled after that operation. Come on, 10 minutes. Whew. Oh, I thought 10 minutes was the goal. My bad. I think if you were to do that one quickly, you'd have to know which things go where and just like, you know, because I did a lot of back and forth because I just kind of like do it as a wave of just whatever pellets nearby. But if you already know ahead of time where things are meant to be going, like having a sign on the wall or so, you can plan it out. Colleagues' jokes have evolved into an even bigger mess. Oh. That is, that is quite a mess. It's a shame my colleagues don't take this as seriously as I do. <laughs> Powerful inspirational music. Yeah, this one's really going for it. Holy shit. We're in the big leagues now. Someone's got, like, a balloon they're letting the air out of. It's a bit distracting.
Did this not need to be sideways? Okay, it did. didn't, in fact. that balloon again. My colleagues again, no doubt. They're always up to something. Now we need also people walking around. Folks for me to dodge and honk at. And some Twitch integration to spawn trucks with certain loads. Oh. I spent like a thousand channel points or something to summon a truck that's just filled with really fragile glass bottles. Like wine or something. Oops. very focused I'm trying I'm trying real hard here I can't let my colleagues beat me they just want me to look bad and twitch plays would be odd with this I don't know how well that would translate <laughs> Ah. 
Look how proud my uncle is. Man, I even did it in the time limit for a $750 bonus. No collisions. I feel like no collisions should give me like an additional 10%. Six thousand bucks for like six minutes of work, a thousand dollars a minute, sixty thousand dollars an hour. That's how much my forklift charges. Loading trailers within six minutes, max two collisions. We've almost beaten the game. For the third level, is still locked, like early access locked. A good operator is like a sapper. He can only make a mistake once, so load both trailers, but pay attention to where you should put the correct loads. Well, yeah, of course. Can't just throw them in there all willy-nilly. Do we have like a back row to do or we just hope when the the whole trailer just flips when it takes off i think we're doing it that way we're sabotaging this truck it's a little bit like king of retail how you'd get like you just load the front of the shelves <laughs> nothing else We can just pretend. Oops. This one's all wonky. Those damn colleagues. Actually, many years ago, I played a German simulator game where you had to place explosives to demolish buildings. Wildly inconsistent in physics, but very funny because of that. Yeah, I think you brought that up before. I mean, hey, if it's fun. Look how much space there is back here. Wow. we got. There's still like a ton of pallets to move around. We're making terrible time with this one. I think some of these you're really better off using a controller or VR because you don't have the uh yeah get this from the other side you don't really have the ability to change around from reverse to forward while turning and lowering the forks on the keyboard like you, you kind of can if you break off a couple fingers There we go 
Now I can get it from this side. Oh, what a procedure this is. So as far as time goes, I think uh, I'm probably not going to be getting a lot of those. Just because I can't do multiple operations at once so easily. Why are you like that? And it needs to be sideways. Oh, you. King of Retail Expansion slash tie-in? Oh, God. The ultimate grocery experience. Why? Why are you like this? There it goes. Sometimes the angle is just a bit wrong. Pretty sure you're supposed to go here. Huh. Yes. Strange. I think a lot of it is, like, the weight of the items. Like, I expect to be able to, like, kinda have a grab on it a little bit, but the way that the weight is with the items, it's just... It'd really rather just, like, flip over or tip or something like that rather than scoop. Because the weight of it isn't holding it... It's not holding itself down, basically. So, like, even if my fork is just, like, a bit on the pallet, it's, like, kind of sticky. And it just magnets itself on or something. Odd to explain. You get in there. Get in there. Jeez. I know it's crooked, just... Thank you. Doesn't matter. The trailer's gonna topple over anyway when you take off. You'll never know the difference. So what is left? Thank <laughs> you. 
all oh, these are sideways, man. Trailer's destined to go the way of the Skyrim horse. <laughs> I wouldn't want my goods in that. the load before driving don't want you to tip over yeah you'd think that the, the weight of stuff needs a bit of work like i think tilting the forks back and everything to secure it better i feel like makes it worse always When loading there's no room <laughs> it, it does nail that aspect of the realism a, a bit it, it frustrates me a little bit though because like we had one earlier where you were arranging a, a truck but like from the back rather than the sides but you don't know where stuff goes on the trailer until you pick it up so you're kind of shuffling around the items looking for the thing that goes into the back of the trailer so you're not doing the whole thing uh, you know front to back. out for the time limit but no collisions no major collisions at least tapped a couple things trash collector simulator uh that'd be a garbage truck dude finish career mode new mission soon was that mission six I don't know if that was mission six or not. But then the storage hall is coming up next, I guess. Twenty four thousand five hundred bucks for this guy. Yeah. So we got an S fifteen and the M thirty we started with. I uh I don't know if we care about that or not.
Not sure if I got this one done or not. Yeah, we did. This is the one we just did. Well, we can see if it drives any different, at least. I know this is a different one. Holy shit. It's a loud, loud boil, this one. Oh god, it's... Ah! It's too quick! It's a speedrunning forklift. Christ, this thing is nuts. Uh. Oh, fuck. Why is it? Why is it so hasty? That's gone. It's not like completely quick, but like. That initial boost it's got. That's wild. Wow. Alright. Well, yeah, it's a decent enough game, this. Um, I would like a little more to it, though. Like, it, it seems like it's got... It's got a good direction to it, but I, I think I'd like to have more purpose to things rather than just removing pellets where it tells me to. Like I said, I think it, it'd be a lot harder to design it as such, but I feel like it'd be a lot of fun if there was like a day-to-day -day schedule going on where we get inbound and outbound on certain days and I just have to manage the warehouse myself, unload the trailers when they come in, try to do it in a decent time, but also put the stuff into a smart spot because some of the stuff's going to be heading out on the next trailer, some of the stuff we're going to be holding on to for a week, some of the stuff we might be holding on to indefinitely, and it's up to me to organize and sort stuff in accordance with that. And, uh, you know, just like I said before, managing the logistics of it all, because this is just like, just put it where it tells you to. And that's significantly less deep than, uh, than I think it ought to be for a simulator game. But it's not too bad, really. That was, yeah, just about two hours or so. Uh, what does it cost? It was like 15, 15, yeah, 15 dollars. Best forklift simulator. Title runs in both standard and VR modes, does not require a VR headset. VR wise, it supports Oculus Rift, I, I think this is the only one it's got. Not too bad though. Yeah, the other forklift games though, uh, not at all looking very great. This one looks okay, it plays okay. There's nothing wrong with it fundamentally. I just feel like the gameplay itself could do with a bit of a bit of depth and all that. Um yeah. Hey, I don't care. Welcome. Turn it into a whole warehouse manager thing instead of just forklift certified simulator. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, that that's a bit what I want. Cause I think that'd be a lot of fun. I love these simulator games where it doesn't tell you exactly what to do, it's just do it. Like, Cooking Sim is a great example where it's just where you put utensils and all that and the spare stuff is that's up on that's up to you. Um, there's no designated area for like salt shakers and all that. It's just, you know, put it where you want it, whatever's most convenient for you. Maybe it works out, maybe it doesn't, and eventually you get your own system set up as a player. And I think simulator games really benefit from that a lot. So if you're having that logistics aspect to this with the warehouse going on, um, it, I think it'd add a lot to it. But obviously it'd be a lot harder to set up that way. I just think it'd be great having shifts that last maybe um, 20 minutes or so per like IRL minutes per, per day in game. And some days you got two trucks showing up, some days might just be big inbound with like three or four trucks that you gotta get unloaded. And then you might have days where it's really slow so you can organize stuff yourself and you organize because you have to organize, not because the game told you to. And what you make with your time is what you make with your time. 
could be could be good I'd, I'd be up for that yeah where wilmot's warehouse is what a lot of folks bring up i personally don't really like the style of it but i i want that basically i think that's like exactly perfect gameplay wise just visually it's not for me 